Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's auction. My name is Ryan Webb Johnson, proudly representing Bigger and Scott Real Estate in Glen Waverley, but more importantly, of course, proudly representing the owners of this glorious property behind me. Now, ladies and gentlemen, with me in the crowd, I have a number of agents that are here to assist you with your bidding. We have Lily Liao, we have Jonathan Invalido, we have Catherine Olsen, we have Grace Rodriguez, we have Edwin Leung. If you require any assistance with your bidding, if you have any questions regarding the auction or the auction process, please feel free to approach our agents at any time. They would be more than happy to assist you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are selling today by way of public auction. This means that a 10% deposit will be required upon signing the unconditional contract settlement terms. Very flexible, 30, 60 or 90 days. Now we are conducting a schedule one auction today. This means that today's auction will be conducted in accordance with any rules or additional conditions that were made available for inspection before the start of today's auction. Now the auction rules prohibit an auctioneer from accepting any bids or offers after the property has been knocked down to the successful bidder. So in other words, this means no late bids will be permitted. The law also prohibits false bids from the crowd, prohibits major disruptions by bidders, prohibits bidders attempting to prevent others from bidding and provides fines for this conduct. The rules do permit vendor bids and the words that I will use to indicate that I'm making a bid on behalf of the vendor are vendor bid. Now by law in the eyes the auctioneer may make a vendor bid. Now one of two things will happen today ladies and gentlemen. Either one we will sell this property under the hammer at or above the vendor's realistic reserve price or two we will pass the property in. Now, in the event that the property is passed in, please note that only the highest bidder will be reserving the exclusive right of negotiating with the vendor. So it is absolutely critical that if you have any intention to purchase today, that you do bid because there are two points that I will reiterate before we get started. One is that there are no late bids. If the hammer goes down and I'm not looking at you, you're out. There are no second chances today. Secondly, only the highest bidder will be reserving the right to negotiate exclusively with the vendor and agent at the completion of the auction. No matter how you look at it, you must be the last to bid to be first in line to purchase this incredible home, this incredible opportunity that we have on offer for you today, ladies and gentlemen. The current owners have been here for 26 years. They are very much looking forward to meeting the new owners of this home that can enjoy all of the hard work that they've done over the years. I don't think anyone here would dispute the fact that they've done an absolutely incredible job maintaining and updating this property throughout its lifetime. Not a dollar needs to be spent by the lucky new owner today. If you are looking for one of, in my, in my opinion, the nicest homes available in Vermont South, then look no further than what we have today, ladies and gentlemen. In terms of accommodation, we have five large bedrooms. We have a beautiful, beautiful upgraded or fully renovated ensuite to the master. We of course have the lovely, luxurious family bathroom as well. In terms of living space, we have not one, but two living areas. We have the formal lounge at the front of the property and at the rear of the, at the, rear of the property, we have the informal family room that opens up to the outdoor entertaining area, which I'll touch on in just a moment. In terms of dining and kitchen space, we've got a fully updated kitchen with melee appliances. We've got stainless steel gas cooktops, uh, stainless steel dishwasher, and of course, you've got an absolutely enormous open plan dining area to be enjoyed as well. So perfect for the budding chef, perfect if you're entertaining friends and family, ladies and gentlemen. In terms of outdoor entertaining, like I said, this outdoor entertaining area is absolutely incredible. Not only does it open up to the back of a reserve where you can play with your children or take the dog for a walk, it boasts its own in-ground pool, its own outdoor covered entertainment area. It's really resort style leaving, if you ask me, ladies and gentlemen. You can entertain all year round. A cabana, I, I've never seen a cabana before in someone's rear yard, but I think this is absolutely fantastic. And all the mod cons one would expect the property offers. So we've got ducted heating, we've got ducted cooling, all ready to be enjoyed. In terms of car accommodation, we've got the double open garage, and we've also got another workshop slash garage at the back with plenty of space. 
for additional cars, ladies and gentlemen. In terms of location, really this is second to none. With education options, we've got uh, Camelot Rise Primary School, Highvale Secondary College, Bronley Moments from some of Melbourne's best shopping as well. The Glen is only a stone throw away, currently undergoing the $500 million redevelopment. Vermont South Shopping Centre also only moments away with tram stops that will take you all the way into the city. Head down Melbourne Highway, you'll find yourself also at Westfield Knox. Ladies and gentlemen, in terms of public transport, Ivory Road, there are buses. Really, this is absolutely incredible. When it comes to entertainment, shopping, family-friendly schools, of course, public transport, it's all at your doorstep. East Link Freeway also only moments away down Berwyn Highway will take you all the way to the Mornington Peninsula or East Lane Shopping Centre. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, an absolutely incredible home, an absolutely incredible location. Don't miss out on today, but don't forget that you must bid to buy. And before we get started, let me remind you that our agents are here to assist you with your bidding. Catherine, John, Grace, Lily, Edwin, all here to help. If I've forgotten anyone, sorry guys. So on that note, let's get things started, ladies and gentlemen. I'm now looking for a fair and reasonable opening bid. I don't mind where we start, but we are here to sell today. You are here to buy. Who'd like to raise their hand and give me a fair and reasonable opening bid? I don't mind where it comes from, but remember that you must bid to purchase today. You must raise your hand. Yell out at the top of your lungs and put some skin in the game. The ball's in your court. If you'd like, put in a bid. Now's your chance to do so. I'm looking for someone to get us started. Happy to look at any reasonable offers we've been quoting around 1.2 to 1.28. Happy to look at a range or other, something even below that. Happy just to get us started, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I don't mind where it comes from. Looking for a fair and reasonable opening bid. No, all done, ladies and gentlemen, all quiet, rather all shy, that's fine. I'll put in an opening bid myself at 1.1. Looking for a rise of $50,000 to 1.15. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm looking for a rise of 50. Now the bid's with me at 1.1. The ball's in your court. Looking for a rise of 50,000 of 1.15. So $1,150,000 is what we need to keep things moving along. Don't forget that if you require any assistance, you're more than welcome to approach the agents that you have here in the crowd. The bit's with me is 1.1. I'm looking for a rise of 1.15. Ladies and gentlemen, 1.515. Don't forget, fantastic schools. Camelot Rise Primary School, Highvale Secondary College, fantastic shopping, the Glen, Vermont Secondary, Vermont South Shopping Centre as well. Public transport, trams all the way to the city. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an absolutely incredible opportunity but don't hesitate because I can assure you that if you do so, if you fail to bid today, you will regret your decision not to bid. So we're at 1.1, looking for a rise of 50,000. First call at 1.1. Second call at 1.1. Third and final call at 1.1, looking for 1.15. Are we all done? Are we all silent? Are we? 115, there it is. Welcome to the bidding, sir. 115, can I see 1.2 here in the crowd? So I'm looking for a rise of 50, now to 1.2. We're at 1.15, looking for 1.2 anywhere. Can I call at 1.15, looking for a rise of 50,000 to put you in front. Happy to consider a rise of 25, but would prefer 50,000 at this point. So we're at 1.15 million dollars, ladies and gentlemen. That's 1,150,000 looking for a rise of 50 to 1,200,000. Thousand dollars. So we're at 1.15, ladies and gentlemen, looking for a rise of $50,000. First call at $1,150,000. Second call at $1,150,000. Bid currently with the family to my left. Third and final call at $1,150,000. This might be your final opportunity. Don't forget that you must bid if you would like to be in the running to purchase today. No late bid will be accepted. And if the property, in the unlikely event that the property does pass in, then please note that only the highest bidder will be reserving that exclusive right to negotiate with the owner. We're at 1.15. Anywhere can I call 50? First call, $1,150,000. Second call at one hundred and fifty thousand dollars Third and final call, $1,150,000. I'm looking for 1.2 million. Anywhere at all, 1.2 million. Yes or no, in or out. Are we all done? Are we all silent? Are we all finished? Lily, do we have an answer from your buyer? 
We're at 1.15. I'm looking for a rise of 50,000 to 1.2. About you, lovely lady. 1.15. I'll call it again at 1.15. First call. 1.16. Can I get 25? I'll meet you in the middle. We're at 1.15. I'm looking for 1 1.2. Why don't we do 1.175? 1 1.2? 1.175. There at 1.7. I'll take 20. Why not? 1.17 now. Well, I'm happy to extend that courtesy to you as well. A rise of 20. I prefer 1.2 to round things up. We're at 1.17 with the family now over to my left. $70,000 and in you bid is welcome to join in now. 1.17 million. First call is 1.17. Second call at 1.17. 119. 119. There it is. Lily now back to you at 119. $1,190,000. Looking for 1.21 now. 1.19 for rising 20,000. 1.2. I'll take the 10. John, we're now at 1.2. 1. 200000 dollars Looking for a rise of at least 10. Preferably more, ladies and gentlemen. So we're at 1.2. First call at 1.2. Second call at one million two hundred thousand dollars Third and final call, we're at one million two hundred thousand dollars Are we all done? Are we all silent? Are we all finished we have an answer done? We're at 1.2. One. There it is. Lily, back to you now. Ball's back in your court. We're at 1.21. 2 2. There it is. John, can we say 2 3? We're at 2 2 now. 1.22. Looking for 1.23. Another $10,000. What John spends on hair products every month? Chump change. 1 boy. What's the other one? I won't say chump change, ladies and gentlemen. We're at 1.22. <laughs> John, can I call 1.23? Yes or no? In or out? We all done. What to call it? First call at one million two hundred and twenty thousand dollars. One point two four. One point two four. Good strong bid. Welcome back at one point two four. Ma'am, can I suggest one point two five? There it is. Two five. John, two six. Why not? One point two five, guys. We're at one million two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Any late comers? Now's your chance to get in. Raise your hand. We're at one million two hundred and fifty. I'm looking for a rise of 10 to 1.26 anywhere in the crowd. $1,250,000. John, if you'd like to remind your buyers that the current owners have updated and renovated this 1.27. Okay, 1.27. Thank you, John. 1.27. $1.27 billion. Can I call 1.28, man? What do you say? It's only money. What's money? What, 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 what does he say? What's a million dollars a month, friends? That's right. 1.28. There we go. 1.28, John. Can you get me one more bid? We're at 1.28. We're very close down to bidding on the market. We're at $1,280,000, ladies and gentlemen. I'm looking for a rise of 10. 1.29 is what I'm after, preferably more, of course. We're at 1.28 going. Ladies and gentlemen, it's at the highest bidder today. We'll be buying the property. We are now playing for keeps. There is no turning back. There are no second chances. And let me remind you that when the hammer goes down, we're done. We are sold. We are going to meet the proud new owner of this home today. This is maybe your final chance to bid. If you would like to do so, it may be now or never. Ladies and gentlemen, we're at 1.28. What would you like to do, sir and ma'am? $1.28 million looking for 1.29. First call. At 1.28, second call at 1.28, third and final call at 1.28 million dollars. Yes or no? Do we have an answer? Rise of 10 is being used. I'll take five. I won't be halfway. Alright, so we're at 1.285. Lily, same courtesy. 1.29 will put you back in front. I prefer more, of course. We're at 1.185 now, looking for 1.19. $1,185,000, looking for a rise of at least five to one point, what are we up to, 1.19, that's right. 
Someone give me a calculator. First call, 1.188. 1.288. There we go. 1.288. 1295000 dollars $1,295,000. Let me remind everyone that we are playing for keeps. We are selling today. We are on the market. If you've been holding out to see what happens now, you have a pretty clear picture, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to bid, now's your chance because if you fail to do so now, you will be missing out. Make no mistake. We're at one million two hundred and ninety-five thousand dollars. Lily, do we have an answer? First call, one million two hundred and ninety-five. Second call, one million two hundred and ninety-five thousand. Third and final call, one million two hundred and ninety-five thousand dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, are we all done? Are we all silent? At one million two hundred and ninety-five thousand dollars, ma'am, do we have an answer? Point three. There it is. 1.3. Welcome back, ma'am. 1.3. Back to you now, John. And the lovely company you're standing next to the other gentleman. 1.3. We all together? I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. 1.3 million, ladies and gentlemen. Looking now for a rise of 5,000. Happy to consider other rises, of course. But we're at 1.3 million dollars looking for a rise of 5,305. So, John, it's quite a going once. One million three hundred thousand dollars twice. One million three hundred thousand dollars. One thousand three oh one. There it is. Three oh one. We're at three oh one now. Lily, another one thousand. Say courtesy to your buyer. She's like, she's shaking her head. In some cultures, that means yes. One million three hundred and one thousand dollars. What was that, John? What culture? what culture? I'll tell you later. One million three hundred and one thousand dollars. First call. One million three hundred and one thousand. Second call at one million three hundred and one thousand dollars. Third and final call, one million three hundred and one thousand. Ladies and gentlemen, are we all done? Are we all silent or finished? This is your final chance to bid once this hammer goes down. That is it. We have sold today. If there are no further bids, the lovely family to my left will be the proud new owner of this property. This is your final chance. Lily, do we have an answer? We're at one million three hundred and one thousand dollars. $301,000. Lily, I'm going to call it one last time, probably. $1,301,000. Ma'am, do we have an answer? Yes or no? 302 can I call? Are you absolutely sure? Do I have your permission to sell? I'll take that as a yes. $1,301,000. dollars Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Final chance to bid. Otherwise, we will be selling today. One million three hundred and one thousand dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, if we are all done and all silent and all finished, then today I have the pleasure of announcing that we are selling. Lily, are we sure? Are we absolutely sure? There's no going back. Yes, we are sure. Last chance, final time, first, second, Third and final call, ladies and gentlemen, today we are selling. We are selling. We have sold. <laughs> Thank you everyone for coming to another Bigger and Scott auction. Have a lovely weekend. Go the D's.